plan? Will that be the case here in Poland? Or will we see NA tip the scales back to even? It all starts right now. The move versus XRB to the moon. The gates are about to open. All right, everybody. I hope that you're tuning in. This is the last Legion 3v3 Arena tournament of the year. We're going to be starting it off with the move versus XRB. Absurd Jelly Beans Peekaboo on the left-hand side of your screen. Going to be playing the Survival Jung Survival <laughs> Thug Cleave. And we've got on the right XRB playing the Warrior Warlock Restoration Shaman. This could easily be a high-intensity match. Let's see how Walrix deals with the pressure. Yep, Peekaboo moving in. There's a cheap shot on Blizzo. Kidney shot onto Looney. Looks like Looney is the target of choice for now, but expect the move to be bouncing around targets. Really uh, changing it up and expecting or getting XRB to second guess their decisions. All right, Looney immediately gating across the initial attack from the move and escaping safety, but they've left Walrix behind. He's getting bursted down the half. A step kick swap over to Looney. The move are all over XRB, switching back and forth. Looney opts to trade out Ascendance and Hellstone. A huge defensive cooldown overlap from Looney. These are not the defensive mistakes that we typically see from him. He's getting dismantled early on by the move swaps. Yeah, that was the astral shift as well. You can see some pressure mounting for XRB to the moon. Jelly Beans as well as Peekaboo a little bit low, but Abster still has all those tools available to top off his team. Peekaboo Trying to reconnect onto Looney, it looks like Looney switches the Earth Shield onto himself. Peekaboo sees that, makes a swap over onto Walrus. They need to find some crowd control on Looney so they can continue this damage on Walrus. All right, we see a full blind. Let's see, he's trying to bait Looney to trinket out of the blind, but unfortunately, Jelly Beans can follow this up with a trap or snap potentially from Peekaboo. They're going to keep crowd controlling him down. Walrus on the run, gaining away from Peekaboo. Good kiting from Walrus. Good line of sight, avoiding the reconnect long enough for Looney to potentially get out of this deadly crowd control chain. They've done it. He was able to be greedy and sit through the blind. Now a switch to him later is not an option, but Walrus gets smoke bomb. He's opting not to trinket. Instead, Looney drops Healing Tide Totem. Tosses a couple of Riptides as Walrix desperately tries to get out of side of it. We see a Shadow Step kick onto Looney. Potentially more crowd control to follow up very soon as Peekaboo is attacking Looney. Potentially setting up a swap. They're desperately trying to go onto whoever doesn't have Earth Shield. Nice gateway from Looney. Back to safety. Walrix repositioning. XRB to the moon are starting to restabilize. Yeah, Blizzo has been coming in clutch with the Disarms and the Storm Bolts on Jelly Beans and Peekaboo to keep his teams alive. A nice Disarm on a Peekaboo was what kept Walrix alive and saved that trinket. Saved that wall a little bit earlier on with that storm bolt. Now a little bit more pressure starting to mount for XRB once again, getting that rock pressure onto Jelly Beans as well as Peekaboo, but a nice swap coming in from the move over onto Walrick. Trap onto Looney. Walrick's not really taking too much damage. Blizzard doing a good job once again controlling the situation. Yeah, that initial surprise attack from the move has basically faded at this point as XRB starts to solidify their defense. We can see Absturge is already halfway down on his mana bar, and he's going to be running out of mana a lot faster as Warlocks and Warriors do massively more damage than Salty Rogue Survival Hunter. It's going to be up to Jelly Beans and Peekaboo to set up good cross crowd controls and look for opportunities to attack targets without Earth Shield. They're currently attacking Blizzo, trying to bait an Earth Shield switch to him. Peekaboo Shadow steps over for a kidney shot. Peekaboo gets stormed. He trinkets out. He's getting aggressive. Full hex from Absturge. Good crowd control follow up by the move. Walrus portals back behind the pillar. Out of line of sights. Jelly Beans harpoons to get back to him. Walrus gates away from the reconnect. Blizzo still rotting down to half. The move are doing a good job of softening multiple targets up, so it's difficult for Looney to predict who they're going to attack. Yeah, Looney's in a decent situation, though. He has his trinket, he has his spear. Totem. Walrus sells his trinket as well as uh, his unending resolve. So defensively, XRB is looking good. Nice swap over onto Blizzo into the kidney shot, but being that work with the Relentless, those stuns aren't going to be lasting too long. Peekaboo's not going to be able to get too much damage out. Honestly, XRB is doing an excellent job in this matchup, making sure they're kiting Peekaboo and really minimizing the damage they're taking. All right, Blind was trinketed by Looney, so he is now a potential swap target, and Blizzo is going to need to be aware of that and back him up. Blizzo has basically been defensively backing his team this entire fight with well-timed Storm Bolts. We're just waiting for Peekaboo to pull the trigger on that kidney shot. The longer they take, the more damage they're going to fall behind, though. Kidney shot from Peekaboo. Absurd sneaks in, out of line of sight for a full hex. They swap over to Blizzo, desperately trying to catch him off guard as Walrix preemptively portaled away. Blizzo leaps back to Absurd's side to try and peel them off. No sap out of hex able to be landed. They trap instead. Blizzo is still low. Trap unfortunately breaking there. Now Looney should have some free time to pick Blizzo back up, but Absurd's mana is the name of this game right now. Looney with a massive lead outside of a miracle swap right now. It's not looking too good for the move. Yeah, the move having a difficult cold time connecting on a Walrick, and that's why they've changed their target to Blizzo, but hitting an Orc Warrior with these stance is difficult for the move to get pressure. Stormbolt on a Peekaboo into the Fears. Can't get the faint out. Big pressure coming in from Blizzo and Walrick right now. Walrick being left alone to free cast is very dangerous for the move. Absurd, like you said, almost completely tapped on Mana Sid. He needs to try and get a drink. He's currently very far away on the map, but Walrix is going to deny it immediately. They know the win condition. Deny Absurd from drinking. Try and stall the game out and survive until they can burn them down with sustained pressure. Blizzo's 
attacking two targets. He's really starting to tear in. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure what Absurge can really do. They go for the Miracle Swap. Looney's in Ghost Wolf. He's got a little bit of damage reduction, but it has faded. He's bursted down to half. He's still got no Trinket. Maybe they just have to train him down, but they're not able to stay on target. Looney jumps to safety. Absurge was trying to sneak a drink with that aggression, but Blizzo denies it instantly with a heroic leap. In the meantime, Jellybeans is just rotting down, tricking out of that Stormbolt, desperately trying to pick himself back up, but Absurge really has nothing left. How much longer can the move keep this up, Ben? I don't think it's going to be much longer. They have one opening on Looney. He doesn't have his Trinket. They might be able to make the Miracle Swap with the Smoke Bomb, but Walrix is free casting the UAs. Absurge having no mana. This is not looking good for the move. Execute range for Peekaboo. Cheap shot on Blizzle, but ultimately, XRB to the moon will strike first blood. And this is going to be huge for XRB to the moon. We already said this has been a team that's been in a little bit of a recession, to be completely honest. They haven't been able to get things going like they had been at the beginning of the season, and now they get the first win here in Poland. And you can already see it on their faces. They're feeling good here, and that was a nice blind pick, though, I will say, coming in from the move. I, I feel like that is a composition that can force mistakes. Dates, and that's exactly what we thought XRB to the moon's weakness really would be, Zico. Yeah. When you are on the clock, it's very, very different here. And this is exactly one of those moments you can see, uh, you know, it's a lot of pressure onto Warwick's. And that's the only reason why they are managing to do that is, of course, because Looney is actually getting hexed. And that is another big mid-game adaptation that you can make. So we're going to take a look uh, real close here. You can see that Absturge and Looney are behind this pillar over here. And that is because Absturge wants to be in range for that hex. Warwick's, of course, playing with that imp is not going to have that spell lock to interrupt those hexes. And then, of course, the positioning of Warwick's is also key here because he is spread out from his team as well as Peekaboo is kind of in between because he needs to kidney shot Looney and then reconnect onto Warwick's. Blizzle's job in this is, of course, to try to disrupt everything as much as possible while doing as much damage as possible. So, we're going to see what happens. You can see that Absturge is getting in position in line of sight of Looney. Looney goes out to refresh that Earth Shield. Peekaboo gets a beautiful kidney there, trinkets out of that storm bolt that Blizzle placed, and then he gets onto Warrix, and this leads, of course, to a full Hex here onto Looney, and Hex is a curse. The imp can say to the Moves logo, absolutely insane, but the games are open. XRB leads by one. Will the move be able to catch up? Yeah, Peekaboo charging in, lands a stab onto Blizzo. He's gonna be able to get out of that quite quickly, but it looks like Peekaboo just looking to spread some damage right now. A typical RPS fashion gets to corrode onto Wiz K as well as Blizzo. No CC on Looney yet. We're just waiting for that to happen for the move to make the first step. Blizzo using Blade Storm very early on, not gonna be avoiding any crowd control with it, just going for raw pressure. Wiz K looking to try and mask the spell dots off whenever he can. If he gets interrupted on Vampiric Touch, you can see already very difficult for Wiz K to finish a Vampiric Touch cast with Blizzo shutting him down. Earthen Shield Totem committed by Absurd to allow Wiz K to stand in an offensive position. Peekaboo is moving in. Looney's trying to jump away. Peekaboo follows him up behind the pillar. Wiz K's trying to push up, but if he pushes too far, he could get collapsed on, so he's opting to stay in center field. Void form activated. Wiz K wants to get something going. He's going to silence up Looney. Kidney shot on Walrix. Everybody is rotting down. Wiz K starting to sink his teeth in. You can see Absurd pushing in as well. He wants to disrupt Looney just a little bit. His team has a lot of pressure, a lot of momentum. Blizzo, Looney, and Walrix all rotting down low. See Absurd just spelling the UAs as well as Wiz K looks to get a fear, but a nice gateway from Looney will shut that down. All right, Looney Walrix repositioned back behind this balcony with an Earthen Shield Totem protecting them. But Peekaboo and Wiz K are both just chasing them down. We see a blind here. Vendetta was already committed, so Looney will likely trinket, and he does. So now in about roughly 50 seconds, expect to swap to Looney. Triple Fear from Wizcake, still desperately trying to set up the pressure. Peekaboo staying on Looney, trying to make it difficult for him to decide. Who do I Earth Shield? Warwick has no any resolve. Looney has no trinket. This will be a difficult decision for Looney. Will he crush under the pressure? Yeah, Looney's still getting low. Peekaboo causing huge pressure, but the healing waves do come in. There's a kidney shot coming in from Peekaboo. Looney's in so much trouble. Fear coming in from Blizzard. Oh! Punch, silence, Hellstone. Looney, how can you survive this? Peekaboo just not able Able to reconnect. Does he have the damage to take Looney down a stand? It's going to be popped. Healing waves come in, and Looney barely surviving, but clutch peels coming in from his teammates. Blizzo literally carried the game right there. If Blizzo wasn't there for Looney, he easily fell down 10 seconds into that stun lock combination, so they will stay alive. A close call, but Absurge's mana is already down to the 50% mark. As you can tell, the Warrior Warlock going to be much more sustained based, but obviously Peekaboo and Whiskey can burst the target down very quickly, so Looney needs to predict that. Right now in this position with Walrix having Trinket, it's very easy for Walrix to escape, so we'll likely see Looney keep Earthshield on himself. So it's up to the move to try and set something up. We 
the Earth Shield on Looney. Whiskey could go for a Silent Spear. They could potentially go onto the Warrior as well. But the full hex was snuck in by Looney. He's getting aggressive, trying to get some pressure for his team. Lizzo leading the charge on Whiskey currently with no dispersion. The hex has just faded, but he's in uh -oh. trouble. Execute. Blizzo just annihilates him. Huge damage from Blizzo. XRB to the moon now leading this series two to zero. Oh my goodness, and you can hear him already getting loud here. This is truly just a matchup of fire and ice. You know, you look at the strategies that these two teams employ, and the move, they, they said when we actually had an opportunity to talk to them yesterday, they talk about they should be able to take down. Gotta do it now. XRB just did one game away from taking this series, trying to close this one out. Yeah, the move, they did a good job in the last game, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news. They did die with a lot of defensive cooldowns still available. And with the way Shadow Priest works and that low cooldown dispersion, you really have to be rotating with the Void Shift as well as that Spirit Link Totem, ultimately buying the move more time to generate those setups. All right, we see Peekaboo just softening up Blizzo, actually pressuring the Warrior a bit more so. This game, Blizzo opting to use Storm Bolt on Peekaboo to deny the initial, initial assault. We see Looney caught into a kidney shot. Curious to see if they commit all in. Vendetta has been popped. Blizzo immediately disarms Peekaboo. Looney, that buys Looney enough time to gate across the map. Peekaboo's forced to switch back, and it does seem like they're going to be ping-ponging between Blizzo and Looney, and now instead of Walrix. It's too difficult to stay on the Warlock, and I like this target change from the move. I think it's smart. It's going to allow the consistent pressure in this game. Blizzo's still rotting down low, full blind on a Looney, immediately trinketing out. Kidney shot's still available for Peekaboo, so this is an opportunity for the move to start finding some pressure. If Whiskey can get dots on Looney, Peekaboo can find the kidney shot, but unfortunately for Peekaboo, Looney did an excellent job kiting him there. Yeah, Peekaboo losing that one-on-one -on -one with Looney, and now going after Walrix. So Walrix can easily just portal away from Peekaboo, so not entirely fond of this targeting from the move. And they will fall behind on mana at a faster rate. It's up to them to get these swaps going. Looney gets free gift to the Queen, goes into Ghost Wolf right before the stun lock. Doesn't look like they can purge it off just yet. They managed to get it, but Blizzo immediately charges over for a disarm out of the silence. And this disarm from Blizzo are constantly preventing Peekaboo from taking Looney out. Yeah, once again, Absurge behind on mana as well. The move has to do something in situation. Blizzo running down a little bit low, but it seems like everyone from XRB is in a very comfortable position. Another interrupt over on the Wiz K. Earthen Shield Totem's gonna be dropped out by Astro to slow down some of this damage, but a nice Shadow Step kick coming in from Peekaboo. No gateway available. There's the full kidney shot coming in from Peekaboo onto Looney. But Looney really not taking too much damage. He's gonna be rotting down a little bit, but able to gas out those healing waves. He's gonna be completely fine. Yeah, Peekaboo did not have Vendetta for about six more seconds. If he had done that six seconds later, Looney could easily be on the ground. Wiz K couldn't really back up Peekaboo. He's too far away, and with a warrior sitting on you, it's very difficult to move across the map. Now Wiz K is trying to cross. Absurge is moving forward as well. They know they're on the clock, but Absurge down to half mana once again. It's a crowd of cr shadow Crash tossed out, but onto Walrix. I would have liked to maybe seen that save for Looney on this uh -oh. shot with Vendetta. They might not have enough damage to kill him after you wasting the Shadow Crash. Looney now gates to safety across the map with a disarm onto Peekaboo, and these disarms just constantly deny the kill. And as Zico is pointing out, unless they can prevent Blizzo from killing the kidney shots, I'm not sure if the move can do this. Both the long gateway of this affliction, Warlock Looney's very intelligently just waiting for the Vendetta. He uses the gateway that gives him enough time to get away, allows the team to get that damage as Peekaboo and Whiskey try to cross the map. Whiskey just really struggling to find damage on the Looney with the way XRB to the moon is playing this one out. Interrupt on the Whiskey once again. Absurge running out of time with his mana bar. Full kidney shot on the Blizzo. No CC on the Looney though. So unfortunately, they're not going to be able to get too much pressure from this. Looney leaping into the middle of the map, looking for some more healing onto his teammates. Nice Stormbolt going out on Peekaboo. Really slow down some of that damage coming in from the move. Yeah, right now, I mean, the move, they've probably got like a minute to two minutes left on the clock in this game if they can't find a kill and it's match point. This is devastating for them. Blind, it's potential sap on the trinket. Peekaboo tried to outplay Looney there. He didn't fall for it. Now he gets the trinket out of two crowd controls for one trinket, but he gets silenced. He trades out Astral Shift on the follow-up, but that's without Vendetta. Potentially Looney could fall. If Wizke can hang on, he trades out Dispersion. Blizzo is rotting down the move. Finally have some momentum. If they can hang on to this just a little bit longer, that Vendetta's up in nine more seconds. Wizke needs to make sure he's there to back Peekaboo up on this next kidney shot. It looks like he's just one on one in Blizzo here in the back, back line, trying to force Looney to chase across the map, but Looney isn't falling for for the bait. It's Peekaboo versus Looney. It's Blizzo versus WizK in this position. And I definitely think XRP to the Moon are getting ahead. We see Kidney Shot, but Blizzo immediately leaps back to deny any damage onto Looney. You cannot get past the defense of Blizzo. Yeah, he dropped the Earthen Shield totem before that Kidney Shot as well, really slowing down some of that damage. Looney is honestly playing this phenomenally with his positioning, making it so difficult for WizK. Walrus just free casting the UAs. WizK in a lot of trouble with an interrupt over onto Absurge. Can he find the healing Earthen Shield totem? It's going to be dropped full silence now onto Looney as they look for some damage.
damage on the Blizzo. Whiskey is really just focused his attention on soloing down Blizzo in there it this is. matchup. There's the full kidney shot on the Looney. Whiskey needs to get over there. He's just trying to solo Blizzo. Potentially, this could be the right decision, actually. Looney gates back, but he gates into a fear, potentially. Looney is still low. He's got no area of effect healing for eight seconds. He's going to have to manually power out healing ways, but Whiskey with no dispersion on 10 seconds. Absurd is almost completely tapped on mana. XRB just need to keep their cool. They've got this in the bag. Unless Peekaboo can sneak and find an opening. We see Whiskey setting up dots on Looney, trying to make a move. We see Blizzo rotting down to half. Still, they're desperately just trying to recover. They know they've got this game in the bag. They can just survive a little bit longer. Peekaboo can't overextend for too much longer. I mean, he doesn't have the Vanish. He doesn't have the Evasion. Blizzle's been doing a great job pressuring him down. And now, when Peekaboo chases down Looney, it's going to be very kick. scary for him. Full interrupt on the Looney. May potentially into a full kidney shot, but the Astral Ship comes in. Silence on the Looney. No trinket available. Blizzle. I think the Astral Ship might be enough. Blizzle comes back. Stormbolt on the Peekaboo. He trinkets out. Full fear going to be secured by Blizzle. But Absurd with the interrupt. Looney still rotting down to the Vendetta. Spamming out the healing wave after healing wave. Ultimately going to be able to survive this one. But that was a scary moment. If Blizzle wasn't there again, Looney would have gone down, I can only imagine, and now with Trinket available, the move are in trouble, Whiskey's got dispersed, but Absurd has got nothing left in terms of mana, they have to end this game here and now, Walrix is suddenly dipping low as the move make a surprise attack, Walrix portals back behind the pillar, he's still rotting down, Looney gets caught into a kidney shot, if he Trinkets he's going to go into a full blind, Looney's actually in a tough position here from the pressure finally being developed, Looney's got Spearling Totem, I'd almost like to see him just trade it out because he's burning very quickly through the rest of his mana, this could easily be going down to a final race to the finish with no mana on both sides, Absurd is moving on on top of Looney for potential purges, but Whiskey is rotting down. If Blizzo sneaks in and execute, it will be the end of the series. He's hanging on, double fear, kidney shot, good crowd control. Looney's still rotting down. Peekaboo not able to stay on target though. He's gonna go back and try and soften up Blizzo. The move are completely tapped. Yep, and Walrus actually uses Hellstone there as well, so he's not going to have that available. Dampening now at 6%, full blind on the Looney. Do they have the pressure on the Blizzo and Walrus to force Looney to Trinket? Looks like he's going to patiently sit that Stormbolt on the Peekaboo. Going to be no follow-up staff from that nice denial from Blizzo. Whiskey, Whiskey getting low. Doesn't want to go down without using that Aspersion, able to get that off. They still have the Spearling Totem, they still have the Void Shift as well, so the move not too bad defensively, but Aster just zero mana left. Full Hex, once again, Looney sneaks into full. Was it Spell Reflected? It may have been Spell Reflected. Aster just just falling so far behind, there's no defensive cool that's really, they can life swap, but at this point with everyone at half health, it's not going to do too much. They're all inning on Looney, but Looney denies the all-in, and now Whiskey is falling behind. Absurd gets blocked. He life swaps Peekaboo. Peekaboo could fall now as well. Mind controls to try and bait interrupts for Absurd to spam out healing waves, but now he's caught into a stormbolt. Blazo is getting a triple blade storm. Everybody rotten down. Triple fear. Absurd links the fear, but everyone is just dead. The damage from Walrix has been done, and Whiskey will fall. XRB to the moon advance 3 to 0. In a 3 0, -oh, North America gets absolutely. Absolutely chewed up. Keep in mind, this was the number one team coming in from NA. We talk about how NA looks good to potentially take this tournament, but the number fourth seeded team from the EU doesn't only take the first series of the day, but they're going to send NA down to the lower bracket in a 3-0. XRB said that they can take any composition as long as they are able to make it to the late game without any mistakes and we are going to see them firing on all cylinders absolutely crazy performance i it, I, I just can't believe what I see when I see these three guys play. When they are on their egg, team performance, because Looney is just doing a phenomenal job pre-walling the setups, but when he does mess up, like here, where he's gonna get kidney shot at Vendetta with no trinket, Blizzo comes in, stuns the rogue, beautiful full fear, and I mean, these guys are just, they just have each other's backs out there. You can just tell everybody is doing their job. You see Warwick is very nicely positioned in the middle of the map spamming out these dots onto everybody blizzo of course is going to be trying to shut down whiskey as much as possible and uh, kickaboo uh, peekaboo comes in with the kickaboo step kick right here on the gate onto looney and then you can see looney has a really tough choice to make because he doesn't have his trinket available for another 20 seconds he does have his astral shift but there's also the silence on the side of the move, as well as that vendetta about to come up for Peekaboo, as you can see right there on your screen. So this is really the moment where XRB should lose. This should be this should be 2-1 to the move. He gets kicked, he has to wall because of all of that damage, full silence. And now the Astro Shift, the wall is going to fade. Looney's gonna get kidney shotted right there and just die. But Blizzo comes in, forces Peekaboo's trinket, gets a big, big full fear. Oh, absolutely, they're kind of, even if they don't take that first place finish, taking down the move in such an upsetting fashion is always going to be, uh, you know, very, very crucial for these guys. And I mean, 
uh, we can just take a look here again at what actually seals the deal here. We can see uh, everybody at this point is super low and They've kind of been stacked up in a corner here, which is exactly what Blizzle likes to do. He's going to be dropping that triple fear, getting those big blade storms out. And at this point, it, you just need to finish out the game. You can see dampening is already at 10%. And at this point, it's just about finishing. You can see Blizzle gets that big triple fear there, kills off the spirit link immediately. Whiskey is trying to get some fakes out. And at this point, there's no void shift.